Now we go next to northwestern Nigeria to the Agungu Fishing Festival. <laughs> The truth about Africa from Africans. This is a festival that celebrates fishing, just like the name says. It celebrates conservation. It celebrates prowess. Fisherman prowess, period, is testosterone on display. So the competitors, as opposed to um, rush into the river up on cue, they have only thing they have in their hand is a gourd and a hand fishing net. They're not allowed to fish with a canoe. They're not allowed to fish with, you know, a fishing line. They're not allowed to fish with a fly rope. They're not allowed to fish with an open fishing net, just a gourd and a hand fishing net. And they're supposed to rush into the river and fish. And of course, whoever comes out with the biggest fish, the first wins. But it's a very, um, very vibrant spot, very active, very high energy. And as you watch the, the video of the various uh, past episodes or incidences of our Google Fishing Festival, um, it's, it's fun to watch. I mean, just notice the crowd, notice the energy in the atmosphere, notice the men, the fishermen, the competitors, um, pay attention to the gourds that they used to fish. This is a form of fishing that dates back hundreds of years in this area. Uh, before we had our modern day fish farms and uh, modern day, you know, trawlers for fishing. This is how people fished and it was, uh, it was good for the environment. I mean, we didn't know that back then. I think our ancestors in Northwestern Nigeria knew that, but they probably, they probably did not use the term conservation or, or eco-friendly. But today, the Nigerian government is really touting the Agungu Fishing Festival as um, a form of conservation of nature and a way of fishing without destroying habitats and without um, overfishing and emptying out the ocean. So look at the video, enjoy it. Again, leave your comments. Don't forget to subscribe so you can get all our upcoming episodes. <laughs>
ne san ki jaruma ba da zuciyata ba komai ruwa da iska akan ke ba za na dena kewa ba idan na samu zayar samin ke ba za na tanka kowa ba ni ban ga mai harara ba kare na waiwaya inda ya kan ki ne za na jura wahalar zuwa garin nisa da an taba ki a jira ne da wadila sai na zo na dauban sa jimirin jiran ki ne dan ki zo na kalle ki gin biyar hausa suri na rayuwa ta ke ce ki ne da kin kira da na amsa zuma a ba ki dadi kare ta ki ba ni ta ki na lasa inda ya akan ki ne na yi nisa ba kiran da zan amsa tila su ganin mu tila su barin mu kaunar kitin da ne ya nisa ba batun na fasa ko za a ci mun ba da rai fansa sarin zubin ki dai dai ne ya kawo zuciya ta ne na jin kamar mafareki ne na san ki so mata ki ne ni ban da damuwa har zan bu da an yi da ki da bedani to me za ya da mu kalibi so once again thank you for visiting our channel this is mrs mami truth i am mrs mami and this channel is telling the truth about africa from the standpoint of us the africans again feel free to come back to this channel from time to time look out for our alerts don't forget to subscribe Don't forget to tell your friends about us and use the comments to let us know what you're interested in so that we can cover them. Maybe you have a question about African culture, African food, or why there's so much quote unquote poverty on the continent. Because if you're in the Western world or in the diaspora, it makes it look as though Africa is poor, but the truth is no, they are not. It just, it's just that whoever has the lens choose to showcase what they want to show uh, with that lens, that camera lens. And so we choose to show the good in Africa, the strength of her, the beauty of her and her people, her diversity, and to tell the truth about who we are. So be proud, be African, be genuine. Stay tuned. <laughs>